What's going on Legionnaires and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell and make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now for this video, we're going to be jumping into Batman the Detective, issue number 3 of 6. And if you haven't been keeping up with this line, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything that's been going on in this line. Now, this is written by the amazing Tom Taylor. Pencils are Andy Kubert, inks are Sandra Hope, and colors are Brad Anderson. And this issue is really going to be diving in to who Henry Descard is and what his complicated connection to Batman really is. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright guys, so as we jump into issue number 3, we pick up with Batman rushing into a hospital. Rushing in, carrying Henry in his arms because Henry has been filled with gun wounds. Somebody gunned him down, taking 6 shots to the chest, 4 of them being able to break through the vest. Batman tells them all of his information, tells him the blood type, tells him he's a smoker, tells him his age, and they ask how he is connected to the individual. But how Batman is connected to Henry is not such an easy question to answer. And that's what will bring us to the past. And we pick up at a cafe in Paris, with Bruce Wayne sitting here appearing to be following somebody, because this somebody approaches him. A Frenchman asking who he may be. Because Bruce Wayne has been following him for quite some time now, and this man wants to know why. But this is where we hear a voice chime in, the voice of Henry, telling the man that, that Bruce Wayne isn't the one following him, that Henry is. Bruce Wayne is just following Henry. And this is where we see the Frenchman Didier pull a pistol out of his waistband and point it to Descartes. Bruce Wayne, seeing the gun drawn, jumps into action, screaming no, trying to block the shot. Able to get there in time, he grabs the gun and is able to point it towards the air. Bruce Wayne taking the gun from him, gun butting the man in the face, throwing him to the ground and handcuffing him. And the whole time, Henry is just laughing at this guy because he just got beat up by a teenager. Now, Didier, he wants to know why why Henry was following him in the first place. And Henry was following him because he got hired by three different agencies to, to have him arrested so he could answer for, the, for all three of these crimes. And what works out best for Henry is he's going to get paid for each one of these for what each one of these agencies are going to pay him. So he's going to get three times the bounty for one individual. All he has to do is turn him into Interpol. And so they take him to the Interpol building and they turn him in. With Bruce Wayne and Henry leaving this place, Henry asks Bruce Wayne why Bruce Wayne is following him. Why he's following and who may have sent him. But Bruce Wayne tells him that nobody sent him. He's here because he heard this man is the world's greatest manhunter. And Bruce Wayne wants wants to learn everything that he knows. But Bruce Wayne also wants to keep his identity a secret. And so he tells Henry that they'll do this deal. He'll broker this with him, but he wants to keep his identity secret. And he's willing to pay any ridiculous amount of money to ensure that that stays in place. But Henry tells him, you know, that's fine. We'll do this. I'll train you. But we're not doing that tonight. I'm beat down. I'm tired. I need some rest. And he tells Bruce Wayne that they'll begin training on the next day. And that's what will take us to the next morning. The sun barely just rising and Bruce Wayne trying to wake up Henry telling him that he is ready for his training. And Henry completely exhausted. He's just like, what, what are you doing, dude? Like, first of all, like your first lesson, you can't do this and be a morning person. And he tells him, go away. We don't do any kind of training before noon around here. And definitely not before I get my coffee. And so picking up later on that afternoon, around 3 p.m., Henry is finally getting up, getting out of bed, and he tells Bruce Wayne, like, you can't, you can't do this job during the day. Hunting people is something that you have to do at night. When you can, when you can hunt in the shadows. Not only because you have shadows, but because there's fewer people out. Fewer people awake that are in your way. And this is where he really starts to dissect who Bruce Wayne is. Because his first question is, who did you lose? And he tells him, you know, I can tell someone died. Someone died that you couldn't prevent. And that's what's bringing you upon this path. You may have a tough exterior, but on the inside, he sees nothing but goo. And he saw his face when the Frenchman pulled a gun on him. 
he saw how scared Bruce Wayne was. Not for himself, but he risked his life to try to prevent something that has already happened. Trying to save somebody, trying to, trying to stop the past. And so the training begins. Ducard trains him for months, teaches him how to watch people, how to follow people, and how to detect if people were ever trying to not leave a trace. They took people in together and he found that Henry has friends in every small crevice of this world. And this is an important skill that Bruce Wayne needs to learn, especially at this point. Because Bruce Wayne's been working alone, he prefers to work alone, but he tells him it's nice to have friends. It's nice to have people that are going to have your back. Because at the end of the day, you can't win every single fight. And so with all of this training under his belt, he wanted to prove to himself that he could do this alone. Wanted to prove that he didn't need anybody to be able to have his back. And so he chose a man from the list of Descartes' con uh, of his contracts. A man that was presumably a ghost. But Bruce Wayne studied this man. Every little detail about his life. His family, his, his history, everything. He questioned and he traced. He tracked him, but he got a little bit too close. And this ghost was able to get the jump on Bruce Wayne. Get the jump on him, ends up knocking him out, and bringing him to a basement cellar. Bruce Wayne waking up, finding himself tied up, and this man he was tracking, questioning him, asking who sent him, and why he is here. And this is when Bruce Wayne, he realizes he underestimated his target. And it literally took him being tied to a chair, bleeding out, with a gun being pointed in his face, to realize sometimes you actually need other people. And in this instance, that's exactly what he has. He has some backup. And this is where we see Henry smash down this door and come charging in. And coming into the room, the ghost man drops his gun and Henry goes over and he unties Bruce Wayne. And the whole time, the ghost, he, he's telling him, he's like, do you know who I work for? Once they find out, who you guys are, why you're here, and that you're the ones that did this, they're going to come for you. But Henry tells the man that no one is going to be able to find out about this. And that's when Henry lifts his pistol up and blasts this guy in the face. And Bruce Wayne, completely thrown off, in complete shock about what just happened. Screaming like, what did you do? And Henry telling him like, it's pretty self-explanatory what I just did. And he asks him, what's the problem? Like, this man hurt you, and I was also hired to kill this man. And Bruce Wayne, in his anger, not being able to, to hold himself back, he punches Henry in the face. Now, being young, being dumb, being concussed, and Ducard being a pro, Bruce Wayne has no advantage here. And Henry puts him in the ground real quick. And he tells Bruce Wayne not to get up. That he liked him at one point in time, but he's way too intense. But tells him, whatever justice you think I deserve, I promise you, I'm not gonna let it happen. And he tells Bruce Wayne, I am not happy that you are making me do this. I am not happy about this at all, but one thing I am definitely good at, I'm good at finding people, but I'm also just as good at disappearing. Now Bruce Wayne, he never saw him again on this trip, and there had been some small encounters over the years that they ran into each other. But then there was 10 years ago in London. The city had been under evacuation. Somewhere, a madman had a nuclear device and was threatening to blow up the entire city. And so Batman tracked the man down. Tracked him to a long abandoned subway station. But when Batman arrives at this location, he realizes that somebody had already beat him here. That somebody being Henry. And as Batman walks into the room, he sees a man dead, Henry with a gun and knife in his hand, and a nuclear bomb at his feet. And Henry looks over, sees Batman, and says, Bruce? And then realizes exactly how it looks and tells him, like, hey, like, hold on, it, it's not how it looks. But Batman doesn't waste any time. And we see the two of them. The two of them start fighting. And in the midst of their fight, Henry tells him to wait. And he tells him, dude, I know what you're thinking. I know that you think I did this. I didn't do this because I needed him alive. I needed him alive to be able to defuse this bomb. I can't torture a dead man. And Henry tells Batman that this happened as soon as he arrived. As soon as the man saw Henry, he shot himself. Now Batman asked, like, what are you even doing here? But Henry, he was hired. 
because there are plenty of people that would hire an individual to track somebody like this down and stop a nuclear bomb from going off. There's good money in it, so that is why he's here. And with that, we see Batman defuse the bomb, and with the bomb being defused, Henry takes Batman to a location where he can get some, get some patched up. Takes him to the, to the underground infirmary that we saw in previous issues. Now, with Batman all patched up, we see him getting, getting his costume back on, and Henry is trying to have a little bit of small talk, asking how he is, but also tells him, like, he, he needs to take a little break. Right now, he's being held together by Stitches and Painkiller to just take a rest for a second. But with him completely suited back up, this is when he goes and grabs his handcuffs. He grabs them and throws them on Henry. And he tells Henry that he's taking him in. Now, Henry's at first, he's like, oh my god, dude, like, are you serious? Like, you're seriously going to arrest me right now? And Batman tells him, like, I watched you kill a man. This is something that you have to answer for. But that's what will bring us to present day. And Bruce Wayne had just returned from dropping off Henry at the hospital. But he knew they were coming. He knew the police were going to be at the be at his door soon. He has cameras set up all over this place at every entry and every exit. But besides that, there is nothing else here that is incriminating. Nothing else that could connect him to Batman. So the man that they're coming for, the only individual they could be coming for is Bruce Wayne. And, you know, right now he does have exit options. He could take the air ducts, he could go out the window, but right now he has questions. And Henry, he can't answer them for him. So he has to face whatever this may be. And with that, he goes to the front door and he opens it up. And the police, standing there with guns drawn, tell Bruce Wayne that he is now under arrest. He is now under arrest for the death of Henry Ducard. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Personally, I have thoroughly been enjoying this, this Tom Taylor run of Batman. You know, we're seeing Batman outside of his element, not working in Gotham City, but working in Europe. Not only that, but in this issue, we're introduced to the man that really taught Batman everything he knows about hunting people. Everything he knows about tracking individuals down. You know, Batman may be the, the greatest detective in the world, but he, he learned and gathered all of these skills together from individuals out in this world. And Henry, he is one of those key components that really helped sculpt Batman, helped sculpt Bruce Wayne, into the person he is today. Into the great crime fighter that he is today. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.